Vaginal mesh exposure high up at the corner of a tinted up vaginal cuff after open or robotic mesh sacrocopopexy represents a technical challenge for complete removal. In this patient complaining of vaginal pain and recurrent bleeding, the MRI indicates a very long and verticalized vagina pulled up by a mesh secured to the promontory. There is no evidence of bladder or bowel loops adjacent to the mesh. In addition, the original operative note was reviewed and indicated that the mesh was retroperitonealized at the time. This view from an intraoperative vaginoscopy performed during the first attempt at excising this exposed mesh transvaginally shows the exposed mesh with an adjacent granulation polyp. With the use of headlight, very long vaginal speculum, and surgical instruments, the first attempt at excising this exposed mesh was successful with adequate vaginal flap closure. The patient did well initially. However, as seen on this image, a repeat vaginoscopy three months later in the office confirmed a recurrent mesh exposure. Based on our experience with homium laser of exposed mesh in the bladder and urethra, and given the very narrow and limited access of this right vaginal corner, we attempted homium lasering under cystoscopic guidance. Under anesthesia, the 17 and a half French female scope with 365 micron laser fiber inside a five French open-ended ureteral catheter was used to gradually laser the exposed mesh fibers. The homium laser used a setting of 0.8 joules and 10 hertz. With continuous fluid irrigation to maintain adequate visualization, even with clear fibers, the scope resolution is very good and this aids in complete mesh ablation. At the completion of the procedure, which lasted less than 15 minutes, the area was freed of mesh material and no bleeding was noted. Vaginoscopy in the office three months later confirmed complete vaginal healing with no mesh resurfacing. Mm -hmm.